Yep. Hello. Today what I got is this one. Um, a cleaning kit. We bought this from the store cook. Aside, aside from this one, we also bought the other three pieces. So I'm going to show you. This is what they call Swiffer. Uh, I guess you have seen this in commercial. So since they were showing that this one really works good. So uh, I got curious and got my set. So I'll show you the other three parts. This one is the, the one that I was holding and then aside from that we also bought the other three. Um, I'm gonna show you one by one. This is the extra um, the extra rug for this mop. So that was the rug and then the dry, the dry rug and then um, this, this is a refill which has 20 pieces and we also have this wet refill which has 12 pieces in, in it in one package and we have the, the big mop there which in, includes um, 8 pieces of dry mop dry rug and 3 pieces of wet rug so I'm going to show you also the prices of each of them the dumb Vipa starter kit well, this one cost me 69.90 crowns so this is um, compared to the other duster. This one is a bit expensive. And this floor wet refill, this one, is 69.95 also. And the sweeper, the, the dry one, is the refill is 69.95. And while this um, sweeper starter kit, that one, this one, cost me uh, the most expensive among them is 139 crowns so without further ado let's try this first the dumb this one so it says it has um stove magnet this one has magnet so it's gonna magnetize those uh, dust so it has the insert part it looks like it feels like this is a one-use um, product a little bit look like um, the face mask yeah well it has this insert part like that. so I got my feather duster today this is gonna be my expensive feather duster so let's try this in our dusty TV bank. Look at the dust. And we'll try to insert it and clean also. The dusty part there. It's also very dusty there. So it can easily go on those parts where it's very hard to reach. If you're just, I mean, if you're just using the rug and a piece of rug and then reach it with your hand. So it's almost like it's impossible. You can easily do that with this. Um, duster like that also can easily insert in there and it's amazing because I mean it's it's amazing because the, the dust sticks in here it remains in here unless I'm gonna shake this like that but unless otherwise it sticks in there so it's not like the other ordinary ordinary duster that flies around while you're cleaning. We have this dusty DVD player. This one also is very dusty. Look at that. So we'll 
also going to try removing this. There. It sticks in that magnet magnetic feather. And this is very convenient reaching those parts. Look at that. Look at that. Very dusty part. So, ta da! And those parts. That part also. This one. gonna check also the area where I don't really dust so often because it's it's high end and almost unreachable for me so I get this that one so I'll be able to reach that so this area is one of the dustiest part in the house because I don't because I don't reach this unless I'm gonna use the pile so let's see Look at that. I'm going to shake it like that. Put the dust sticks in there. And so. was the duster this one we're gonna try the mop so we have these different parts this is the handle This one, and the red yeah, Let's try assembling the handle first. We got this. First one and second one. The third one.
the last one. look like it feels like a foamy it's not a plastic yeah maybe a, a kind of some sort of plastic but this kind is feels soft you will try this go take your coffee the dry one I'm still gonna use the dry one, the dry rug. It's quite thin. Got it fixed. Look at that. This holds the rug, the dry rug. So let's try it in our bedroom. This is mostly the problem in our bedroom. The dust and of course my hair. hair sticks on on the fabulous rod and move around it follows oops Also reach those almost unreachable area like that, under the bed. And it brings those dust, hair, and so on with it. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Look how dirty our house is. Just remove it. Proceed with the other parts of the house. Oops. Someone's calling. Gotta have those malunga leaves also. it off and remove the worst so this is how it looks like after cleaning my, our bedroom and a little bit of our living room so it looks like it's um, disposable 
So we're gonna go ahead and throw this one there. And I'm gonna try using this. Smells good. There we go. Yeah, it's dripping. It's really wet. Um, I don't know. We're gonna use this. It's really dripping. I'm gonna put it. Oops. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Really wet. There. Okay. There. Yeah, we'll go ahead and try it in our living room. sticks anyway. Oops! Here we go. Try to fix it through there. Let's see able to fix it. Actually, quite good. Oh, I'll take that later with a dry one. I'll just finish this area and show you the result because it's quite hard to take mop the floor and holding the, holding the camera at the same time. So that's the result. Let's check how it looks like after cleaning the living room. There it goes. So I needed to change it if I wanted to uh, use this or if I wanted to clean the other room. I need to change this rug because this is quiet. Dirt, full of dirt. So we were able to test both the wet and dry rags. This is the result of the cleaning our living room. The question is, is it worth it for the sets? Buying this is quite expensive. So, okay. Um, this rug is disposable and I don't think you can wash it and reuse it and we're gonna give the same effect. But Maybe I should try later, but anyway, um, if you're cleaning that often or if you're cleaning the big area, yeah, first is it's good. The, uh, let's talk about the pros. Um, pros is that um, it cleans and leaves the room smelling fresh, especially the wet, the wet one. 
um, the handle this one is easily assembled even like me that's not so much so much in um, when it comes to assembling things I'm really bad at that so um, this is easily assembled and it really gets off it really helps um, to get rid of the dirt so I mean and you don't have to like if you're just using the ordinary mop compared to if you're just using the ordinary mop this gets most of the dirt on the floor and the other one this one really works great on the very super dusty area where I have shown you so and it sticks in it so it the, the, the dust does not fly or I mean it does not float on the air while you are you are dusting so if, especially if you are allergy this is good for you because it sticks in here mm -hmm. and as I, I have shown you you can easily reach those area which are um, uneasy to reach small areas like under under the TV under the sofa or un under those furniture that it's hard to reach so you can easily reach with this one yeah I, I think those are the good things about this and um, the cons are um, this as I have told you is looks like a one-time use looks like disposable looks like you have seen the disposable mask so this one is look like that I don't know if I can wash and reuse it but um, it's most likely to be thrown after one use and the same thing with this one and the wet drug so if you're gonna clean the often so it means to say that you have to spend a lot of money for buying this the refill oops it's really wet <laughs> this one is really wet both the refill but if you're just cleaning I'm in small area and and once a week or twice every or once every other two weeks so yeah might work for you um yeah that was the mm, not so nice thing expensive um, disposable and I mean when attaching this attaching the rug in here sometimes it does not really sticks when you're mopping sometimes it just fall off so that's another not so good thing but it can easily be removed and replaced so and it really leaves the I mean it really leaves the area clean especially the dust because if you're using wet drug and then even if you're using um, wet drug and then use it to wipe the dust so sometimes when it dries up you can still see the residue unlike this one you don't need to spend time washing on and off your rug and uh, using it in, in dry areas you can use this effectively so it's very effective it's really very effective for for dusting off so um, those are my thoughts about these products mm, I'll summarize <laughs> yeah um, first the good thing is it can easily be used under the under under the furniture and those areas that's that are really hard to to reach and the dust sticks enough here so it really cleans off the area and the bad thing is that mm, it's easily this the rug that you use is that it easily falls off it's disposable I mean since you cannot reuse this so it's gonna be expensive buying it yeah and i think that's all that's all my thoughts so if you you are thinking or contemplating of buying this so if you weigh both the positive and negative um sides of this you can try it yourself and see yeah but i really like what i really like is it cleans cleans us, um the floor and it leaves it um, smell fresh and and dust off also the area which um, I really hate uh, doing because it's it's hard to use the wet or or even the ordinary feather duster and then 
all the what do you call this the dust flying all over while you're dusting so that's the good thing and of course the not so not so good thing about this thank you for watching see you for the next video bye